Recently, I've taken up the hobby of leatherworking. I've made a few items so far, including this memo book and this holster. I've been pretty pleased and everyone's had good things to say about my work. Well, almost everyone. I've started to collect some of the tools required for leatherworking, but one thing I decided to build instead of purchasing was a stitching pony. In this video, I'll show you how I made it. So let's get started. I'm making my stitching pony out of one inch thick red oak. Here I've got an old stair tread that I'm cutting down to width. And that width is five inches. I've taken them over to my miter saw and set up a temporary stop block. Now I'm gonna cut all the pieces to length. Because multiple pieces are different lengths, I adjust my stop block and cut the number of pieces required. Now we're going to give them a little light sanding and take off all the sharp edges. We have our two spacer blocks clamped to our stationary upright and I'm using a countersink bit to pre-drill all the holes. Once they're drilled, we're gonna take it apart and add some glue in between the layers. Now we're gonna clamp them back together and hold them square while we drive the screws home. Now with the uprights clamped together, I'm drilling a 3 8 inch hole through both of them. This way the hole is perfectly lined up. In the movable upright, I'm enlarging that hole to a half inch. I've temporarily clamped the piece that will become the jaw onto the upright, and I'm pre-drilling for some screws. Now I'm adding a little glue before we screw it on permanently. I'll end up adding a jaw block to the top of each upright. Once we've got our block screwed on, I'm going to take it over to the miter saw and cut a 45 degree angle on the top. This will give us clearance when we're stitching later. Since this is five inches thick, my 12 inch miter saw doesn't go all the way through it, but I just finish up the cut with a hand saw. It's time for assembly. We're gonna use a little glue on the base and then line it up with the stationary upright. To temporarily hold it, we're gonna tack it with the finish nail. That'll keep it in place while we clamp it real good and tight. And then we're just going to pre-drill with our countersink again and screw it in with four screws. To attach our movable upright, we're going to use a hinge. I've got it temporarily clamped in place and I'm using this self-centering hinge drilling bit to drill pilot holes. This same bit doubles as a driver to screw the screws in. It's a very handy tool. Now unclamping it, you can see how the jaws come together. In case you haven't figured out, I'm making two of these, as you can tell in the background. To 
pad the jaws, we're going to use a little bit of leather. I'm using my rolling leather cutter and a straight edge to cut a strip of this cheap white leather I picked up in the bargain bin. I'm cutting it 5 inches, which is the same width as our jaws. Each pony will require two strips 13 inches long. To glue these strips on, we're going to use contact adhesive. I brush the adhesive on both the wood and the back of the leather, and then I let it set and tack up for about 10 minutes. When it feels pretty dry to the touch, it's ready. Be warned, when you touch these together, it's permanent, so you can't move it. Make sure it's lined up the first time. Once I get it lined up and stuck, then I just kind of work my way up, making sure there's no wrinkles in it. Then I use this J-roller to really smooth it down and make it stick good. My first application of glue, I stopped on the face of the jaw. That way I could get all of this lined up and then come back and glue the bottom portion. Here's where I'm gluing the bottom. Same technique, brushing contact cement on both the wood and the back of the leather, letting it sit for about 10 minutes to tack up. After it's set up and got tacky, then I just work my way down. Here I'm using a chopstick to smooth up in the crevice. And then the J roller to finish it up. A carriage bolt is what holds the pressure on our jaws. I'm inserting it through the stationary side with the smaller 3 8 hole. And then a washer and a nut on the inside will hold it permanently on this side. Remember the half inch hole we drilled on the movable upright? It allows this side to adjust in and out to give us our clamping action. The black plastic knob adds the pressure. As a final touch, I'm trimming up any overhanging leather with my X-Acto knife. Now that our pony is finished, I'll give you a demonstration of what it's used for. When joining two pieces of leather, you can clamp it in your pony and it holds it tight as you do a saddle stitch, which is what I'm doing here. This stitch requires one piece of thread but two needles, so it's nice to have your hands free to control the needles. That's where the stitching pony comes in. That's a saddle stitch. Well, here we have the finished stitching ponies. I think they turned out pretty nice, and they're super functional as well. I originally made two of them, one for myself and one for my friend Richard. But the other day I went back and I made a third one, and I gave it to my friend Bobby. He's the man that taught me how to make the leather holster. I'm forever indebted to him for that skill he taught me. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope you'll stay tuned because in the future, you'll probably see one of these stitching ponies again in a leather video. Well, until then, thanks for watching.